Gustavo Gutierrez was a saint, and I'll be presenting on him. So what was he? He was a philosopher, a theologian, a priest, and an activist. So a little bit on his education before I get into what he did. So he earned a degree in medicine from the National University of Peru in Lima. He studied philosophy and psychology at the Catholic University of Louvain. He studied theology at the Catholic University of Lyon and at the Georgian University in Rome. He earned a doctorate in theology at Lyon in 1985, and he was finally ordained a priest in 1959. So a little bit on his priesthood and what he did throughout life. So he served as a parish priest in the Glossia Cresto Redentor in Ramac, Peru. He founded and directed the Bartolome de las Casas Institute in Lima to minister the poor, and he also taught at colleges and universities in Peru, Europe, and North America. So, Gustavo was an author, and he wrote many books mainly about the poor, but he was most known for the Theologia de la Liberación, which was the foundational text of liberation theology, and through that, he developed a new spirituality based on solidarity with the poor, and so through that, he called on the church to destroy all the economic stereotypes, and he wanted justice for the poor. So his main beliefs were love for the poor, and he really wanted others to have empathy for the poor, and that the poor should be equal to the wealthy, and all those stereotypes should just be gone. So he said this quote, I hope my life tries to give testimony to the messages of God, of the gospel, above all, that God loves the world and loves those who are poorest within it. And I think that this means that no matter what your economic status is, as long as you love God and try to be like him, he'll always love you back. And he doesn't have favorites based on economic status and he'll love you no matter your economic status. So he had three main principles in his life. So the first one was that material poverty is never good, but an evil to be opposed. His second principle was that poverty is not a result of fate or laziness, but it is a result of certain given privileges. And the third principle was that poverty is a complex reality and is not limited to his economic decision. So he tried to live by that and he wanted others to live by that. And he thought that was that foundation for the poor. So the personal effects on what he did throughout life that had on him was that it made him a better person. So when he came out of what he did in life, he was a lot more generous and caring because he just had so much experience on the poor and with everyone just in the world. And he was just more kinder to people and had more empathy for others. And he also came out of it as an activist. So throughout his life, he spoke in a lot of public places about what he believed in and then he shared his re opinions respectfully with others and he also came out a lot more fair so he really believed in equality for people and the poor and the wealthy he, sh he believed that everyone should be fair no matter what and he came out a lot more grateful so he really cared about others and was really grateful for all the blessings that people were given and the blessings that God gave him so he said this quote I'm very grateful for being named to this academy and for the opportunity to bring the gospel into a fuller, more fruitful dialogue with a broader range of disciplines and with civil society. So I think that this means that we should all be grateful no matter what, and we should all really take in consideration the blessings we have, and we should just try to live by the gospel values and what God gives to us. So the messages that we should all try to follow is that we should really be better to the poor and we should get rid of all those stereotypes and not just think of the poor as bad but we should really try to be equal with them and just be overall better people to them and we should really be equal like to the poor and to the wealthy we should really take away those stereotypes and just all be one and we should really look under the surface and not just on top, we should really get to know people no matter their economic status because everyone's a great person no matter of their, what, how much money they have. And we should really advocate and speak out on what we believe in. And we should uh, share, share our opinions respectfully with others.
the end. Thank you for listening.